Is this a clickbait title? Yes, but that's what we will talk about and you might think that yeah this is stupid, why did I click on this, but still there might be some value here, there might be some value in the stuff that are stupid. So yeah, that's what we will talk about. We will look at Elon Musk and uh, Harris Heller who is a YouTuber, Twitch streamer, who, who is especially a really good uh, example of, well, how you make a lot of money and uh, how you should kind of look at the world, what should be your mindset to, to see things that uh, make a lot of money and bring a lot of value and, uh, and stuff like that. And we will look at other stuff as well. There is Elon Musk for example, basically every ideas of him are stupid. Like uh, you can't make a space company, this is stupid. Uh, you, can make a, you can't make a rocket booster that is landing after it delivered cargo into space, this is stupid, this is impossible. And everyone sa said like batteries are too, too expensive, you, you can't do it. And Elon Musk was like, well, let's see what are batteries made of. Like, uh, it needs this, and it needs this, and it needs this. Can I buy it? How for how much? Okay, then let's put it together into a battery. What does it cost? Can we make it cheaper? And yeah, it turns out, yeah, if you just buy the stuff and make it, you can make it a lot cheaper. And so he did it. You know, historically it's cost $600 um, uh, per kilowatt hour. It's not going to be much better than that in the future. And you say, no, okay, well, what, what, are, what are the batteries made of? You say, okay, it's got cobalt, nickel, aluminum, carbon, um, and some polymers for separation, and a steel can. So break that down in, on a material basis and say, okay, what, if we bought that in the London Metal Exchange, what would each of those things cost? Like, oh, geez, uh, it's like $80 uh, 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 per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. So clearly, you just need to think of clever ways to take those materials and combine them into the shape of a battery cell and you can have batteries that are much much cheaper than anyone realizes. People said that it, about the internet that uh, it's stupid. Like there was a New York Times article I think about the internet calling it a fad. Like calling it stupid, calling it something that's just overhyped, it's never gonna work. It's, uh, it's stupid. <laughs> People said that about cars. Well, cars are stupid, it's too expensive. People, people never gonna afford it, never gonna be able to afford it, this is stupid. Why would you use cars? They are horses, right? Uh, a very good example which I, which I uh, saw not that long ago is Harris Heller, who, who is a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, and who saw a really good opportunity where other people saw stupid. Other people so uh, it's impossible. Other people so scam, like Spotify. Uh, many people think and thought that Spotify, like you can't make money on Spotify because because it's basically scamming artists on how little they pay for a listen on your song. Like you you upload a song and it has thousand views and you get like a dollar. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's stupid, right? Well, Harris Heller uh, had some special knowledge because he was in the music business, like he can't play music and I think he did play music as well. And he was, he was also a Twitch streamer. And, uh, and so he saw this opportunity in streaming that was free songs for streams. Because it was a big, big problem uh, these days that uh, copyrighted songs uh, are not to be played on videos and streams because they will get, uh, well, sued and everything like that. And so there was a market for free songs, of course. Uh, and he saw this opportunity and he went out to freelance platforms and spent like $40,000 and made free songs which he knew streamers would like and play because he was as well a streamer and he was a musician and so he spent a lot of money to make free songs he called it stream beats actually it's on spotify you can use it 
in your video, in your stream for free. Uh, he guarantees it, it's free forever. Uh, and so, for example, I use it on my videos. I think I will put a, a, a sum from there on this video. Uh, so people thought, yeah, you can't make money on Spotify, but uh, Harris saw this opportunity uh, that, well, maybe he could because streamers are a special market who play songs for 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours a day, repeatedly, always. And there was not much <laughs> free thongs, songs to play. And so the way you make money on Spotify is by getting people to listen to your songs continuously, repeatedly, for long, long hours. And that's what he did. This He found a market which was specifically doing this. And so that's, that's his main income source now. Streamers are using his songs heavily and, and he invested in, even more into new songs. And, and he saw an opportunity where people said it is stupid, like you can't make money here because it is paying so low, it's basically scamming artists. But, but he saw that it wasn't the case and he made a living on it. And I really thought that it's a really interesting uh, example of how you can combine knowledge to see some specific thing where other people see only this is stupid. And uh, how you can make a lot of money on that basically. I knew that millions of streamers needed it and the only other options available were either super inconvenient or they were expensive. So I went to Fiverr, which is a freelance website, and I hired some music producers to make a couple hundred tracks for me. So you listen to three songs, I make one cent. That doesn't sound like a very great deal, and for most musicians, it's not. For your average musician, every daily listener will listen to about one to two songs a day. So Streambeats gets about 1.2 million streams per day. Multiply that by 0 0.0037, that makes 4,440 dollars, which means every month it makes about 146 thousand uh, dollars. People said that, for example, about Bitcoin, that it was a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> Basically, you can still think that that's okay. Uh, but for example, Bitcoin is a very pure example of of this idea that where other people see this is stupid might be some value there and you can make a lot of money on that because you know bitcoin is just an asset that you can basically buy at a price and if it goes higher then you make money and so it is a very pure uh, example of of this uh, idea of this is stupid yeah it might be but but really when you see and think to yourself uh, and you have this emotion that something is stupid. I think, as the world proves, it's maybe not stupid. Like, it might be stupid, but you have to go and try to understand it in order to be really able to decide if something is just stupid or it's just early. And many times, something that is stupid is just an, a thing that's that's early, very early. And, and so by the time that the people understand that something might not be stupid, at that point there is not much money to be made there because, because now everyone knows that it's not stupid and everyone jumps on it. And if everyone jumps on it, then no one makes money on anymore, right? So, so, so this is what I found to be a really interesting concept in life and how you could potentially find stuff to make money on. That, uh, that if you think to yourself that this is stupid, then be aware of this thought and go in and try to understand it deeply. And you might see that it's actually not stupid or you, see, you might see that it's very stupid. <laughs> But, but uh, you have to understand it clearly to be able to make an opinion other than just a sudden emotion that comes up in you and says, ah, this is stupid.
If you thought that this video was not that stupid, then consider like, subscribe, uh, like, uh, and other stuff like that. And, uh, and if you thought that this video was stupid, then tell me in the comments why I'm so stupid. <laughs> but not really. Did, did, did you see any like uh, other things that were stupid in, at first and turned out to be not stupid? Like, did you see some uh, Harris Heller, Elon Musk and other stuff like that uh, in real life? Because if you did, then tell me in the comments. I I'm really actually interested because I find it really interesting. And if you, s maybe if you see some very stupid things right now that uh, maybe I could dive deeper into, I would really love that because, yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Show me things <laughs> which I can make money with is a really good thing to do, yeah, yeah, I would like that. So, yeah, consider doing that, that would be interesting. <laughs>